Bonjour everyone, welcome to uh, another uh, episode today, uh, another uh, diecast showcase. Uh, today's episode is going to be about um, um, a M2 um, specifically, uh, N164 scale, and we're going to be looking at uh, a series that I really enjoy. Um, basically, we're going to be looking at um, some auto drivers uh, on card. So in my previous M2 episode, uh, we we looked at some box cars, um, and uh, you saw a couple more in a couple other episodes as well that were boxed. Uh, the ones that we're going to be looking at specifically to give you a bit of background is cards. Uh, uh, so uh, M2 uh, vehicles that are going to be on card. So no acrylic box, regular cardboard card uh, with a base. And uh, they're going to be a little bit less uh, intricate if we're going to be talking about opening parts, uh, which does lower the price. But at the same time, um, M2 really took full advantage of the fact that they had all that uh, room on the cards to uh, actually put some nice vintage ads, uh, which I'm a big fan of, as mentioned in previous videos. Uh, so without further ado, we'll, um, we'll uh, check out some... Uh, uh, um, carded M2s and um, uh, we'll start with uh, a couple cars from the 1950s uh, so first and foremost we're gonna look at a uh, 1957 Chevy Bel Air uh, so uh, one casting that M2 uh, uh, in my personal opinion is really good at uh, producing uh, proportions of the car are great uh, and you know the M2's mantra is detail like no other and uh, in this case I think they pretty much meet that uh, criteria especially at the price point where these are versus the boxed versions um, and the savings thanks to less packaging and no opening parts uh, so this is a 2019 release um, out of the uh, M2 Auto Driver series limited to 6800 pieces worldwide um, and uh, yeah, it's uh, on an old uh, Chevy ad, basically, uh, for the Bel Air. You've even got all the all the details on the bottom and whatnot there uh, in regards to the actual ad that uh, probably uh, was produced in a magazine or something like that. And we have here a pretty interesting little, uh, little trinket where it shows basically the parts, so 25 parts. Mind you that uh, M2s that would be of uh, the different... Um, different generation uh or uh, sorry a different series they would have more like uh, upwards of 30 parts uh sometimes even uh, over 40. And another thing that's really cool is the fact that on each card you'll notice for this specific portion of the card where all the parts are detailed um you'll notice that uh, it's not just one car basically as they used to do uh, 10 12 years ago uh, same car. It's really going to be based on the car that is included on the card on certain of these. So, yeah. So this one, uh, in a nice uh, um, old rose color. Uh, very, uh, very nice. Some gold detailing in the grill, uh, as well as on the little uh, little vents on the front uh, fenders. Wheels are very nice with some white walls. Some chrome hubcaps, the uh, rear end right here, always with the plate with the vehicle's uh, model year, which is great. Uh, so metal base, metal body, lens light throughouts, rubber tires, um, nice, uh, nice uh, interior as well. Very well detailed, everything uh, where it should be. Again, the proportions are great on 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 the '57 Chevy by uh, by M2. Be it this uh, coupe version, be it the sedan, be it the two door, four door wagon, uh, they're really really good. Uh, to follow along in the same optic, uh, this would be the same series, same year of release. '57 Ford Fairlane, so direct competitor to the uh, previously shown. Um, 57 uh, Bel Air, Fairlane 500, again, top of the line model, just like the Bel Air is as well in the, uh, in the Chevy, in, in that Chevy model range. 
6,800 pieces worldwide again. Painted front lights on this one. Nice uh, three-tone paint. Great wheels, wide white walls. Great rear details. Love the interior on this one in blue. Very nicely done. Kind of hard to get a peek at the steering because the, the interior is a little bit darker on this one versus the previous uh, silver gray one. But uh, yeah, a really very nicely done car. Love the old school ad. Very cool. And again, you know, you've got really, it's really the original running ad basically being uh, reproduced on the card. Again, here's the rear, and you'll notice, as mentioned, this one has 20 parts. As you can see, this is the actual car, so that's cool. Not the same colors, but uh, really great. So, uh, yep, really like that one, too. 50s cars are... Uh, Always very interesting to me. Um, so the last one we're going to look at from the 50s will be the 1958 Chevy Impala in a nice uh, butterscotch yellow with the off-white roof, two-tone red and white interior, white walls and uh, chrome hubcaps again. Signature 58 Chevy grille with the uh, painted details. A little bit of difficulty to focus there. There we go. Really nice. You can see the hood is cast separately, but it, it's not an opening part. So, yeah, and these are painted lights as well. It's kind of weird. Why does the Chevy have lensed lights? Oh, okay. Okay, so front light on the Chevy, actually, they're not lensed. It's actually just silver plastic. But the ones on the rear are definitely lensed, so it's kind of weird. Either way, three great cars from the 50s. Um, and uh, now that we've looked at that, what we could do is delve into um, my favorite out of the big three American domestic manufacturers. Let's check out some Mopars. Um, to start off the Mopars, uh, how about we check out this 71 Hemi Cuda. So you'll see that the card, this is a newer series, you'll see that the card as well is uh, not um, not really the, 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 the exact same, uh, same series. But at, uh, it's, it's a newer release and obviously, you know, since the... Um, Since the ad that's printed on there is from the 70s as opposed to being from the 50s, well, obviously, you know, different times. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is a really cool one as well. I really like that. You got a B5, B5 blue with the, uh, uh, with the black insert there, the Hemi script. Um, wheels are very well reproduced. They're the, the rally wheels. Uh, you've got the Goodyear tires, 71 marked uh, the advent of uh, the four f uh, circular front lights as opposed to just the two on the Cuda to mimic the Challenger, make it look bigger or more imposing. Here's your rear end. You'll notice, uh, notice that these lights are painted on uh, more higher end uh, M2s. Same casting that's used, but uh, you'll have uh, separate uh, pieces for the, the lights and everything like that. As opposed to just having some chrome on the front and some painted ones in the rear. Uh, black interior, so there's not a whole lot that we can see in detail through the card. But uh, very well done. Black with the Hemi hood scoop. All the details are there. The details are still phenomenal. And you'll see... Uh, this is a release from last year. 
and obviously the card uh, has changed. You still have the details. Um, and what I find funny is that um, for the uh, auto drivers that I showed you just before, they say eight, eight and up as the age recommended. This one's three and up. So uh, on the back, however, it says eight and up on the front of the card. Um, yeah, we're limited to uh, on this one to. Sorry about that. A little bit of a. There we go. There we go. So 8,480 pieces. Obviously, as time goes by, uh, we're seeing uh, more and more uh, copies of each respective car being produced. So they're not as rare. Um, so on this one, we're going back to the auto drivers. Uh, 2019 again uh, we've got a nice uh, B body uh, Roadrunner oh, I'm so sorry about that guys it's all over the place uh, yeah so Roadrunner this one we've got a more uh, turquoise version of that blue um, yeah 446 pack in this one you've got the uh, cool uh, Stylized wheels, polished with the Goodyear tires again. Um, love the the six pack hood with the uh, air intake. This is probably my favorite Mopar front end of all time. If we're talking about the uh, vehicle in question. Really, really nice. Um, again, same type of details. Again, the painted real lights, 1969 license plate. Overall, really good car. Car, uh, sorry, really a cool car. Here's a little peek at the card art. Very groovy stuff, very late 60s. Um, and since we're 2019, we have there on the back a breakdown of the parts. This one has 24 separate parts. Um, yeah, very interesting. Uh, all right, next up, what do we have here? What do we have here uh, next? Yes, this one I was really happy to find because this is a body style I really like. Um, never was able to pick up the, the Hot Wheels version that I wanted, and I'm pretty happy that uh, I have this one. This one is the 1960 six Dodge Charger 383 with a Commando 383 V8 under the hood uh, vinyl roof on this one or actually textured black paint to mimic vinyl roof again the stylized wheels love the hideaway uh, headlights on this feature that didn't stay on the Charger body style for very long same thing for the um, light bar that does the full length of the rear Love the fastback style of this, and this was developed uh, in the optics of aerodynamism for NASCAR. Uh, if we're talking about the fastback design, you'll notice that the uh, the Ford followed suit uh, with the uh, the Torino Talladega afterwards. So uh, it de definitely had its merits as a not only a styling cue but as an actual functional styling cue. Black interior on this one again. Very nice little car. Well, little car. It's definitely not little in person. Uh, this one is limited to 6,000 pieces worldwide. And you'll see here that this is a 2020 release. And we're, when I was talking to you about the uh, generic, uh, the generic image afterwards appearing on these to show the parts. Well, there you go. So 24 parts on this one, but we've got that 71 Cuda in a, in a burnt orange instead to actually uh, show as an example what we're looking at. All right, so after all that blue, let's change the color spectrum a little bit. Um, so we've got here the complete opposite, polar opposite color. A nice yellow Charger RT. This is a 71 model. So uh, leaving from the 69 and a half uh, 
that was very similar to the Plymouth uh, Plymouth Roadrunner we checked just before. Uh, now we're going to see this body style appear in 71. Well, actually late 70 for the 71 model year. Um, I like it. It's not my favorite, but I definitely do enjoy this body style. It was carried on for a few years, although the hideaway headlights in front were not. This, I believe, they discontinued in, uh, what, 73 for the 74 model year. Went back to four round lights instead. Got some nice, uh, nice period details. Um, really like the stripe going, uh, going around the, uh, the upper line of the body. Uh, the reverse curves for the uh, C-pillar. Very nice looking car. And, I mean, the badging's all there. The RT on the hood. Uh, badging on the side. Even those side indicators, you'll notice there's a silver surround around the side indicator. So a dab of silver, uh, silver paint around the wheel arches as well. Um, you know, when they hit the 70s, it was getting more and more. You know, the car's got... Gradually more gaudy until we hit the malaise era. So obviously uh, there's some details that are a little bit uh, to be left to be desired. But uh, all right, and this one is definitely a crowd favorite. Um, we've got the Dodge Charger Daytona Hemi. Legendary car. This is a spec that I am completely in love with. You got the st color coded steel wheels, white paint uh, with the red stripe that uh, makes for a red spoiler as well. The infamous front end that everyone knows. Everybody from petty fans to. Uh, car uh, Disney's cars or you know this car has a uh, has a legendary status in the muscle car world and uh, this is a really nice rendering of it uh, I must I think I have one other variation of this that I've shown in another video black and uh, mustard yellow um, and I do have a Johnny Lightning version as well that is much smaller Although, I mean, some of these, I, I, I get the feeling they may be bigger than 164. I'm really not sure. Although, normally, they're very accurate M2 if we're talking about scale. So, again, nice vintage ad. Nice vintage Dodge ad. I love these. These cards are really, are really very, uh, very fun to look at, basically. It's like picking up an old magazine you would have found in a flea market or something like that. It's really, uh, it's really enjoyable. All right, next up, um, we're gonna leave Mopar and we're gonna jump into Ford, Ford Motor Company. Start off with the, uh, with the obvious when we're talking Fords. Um, we're talking about the Mustang. First Mustang I'll show you, this really nice Boss 302 Mustang from 70, 70, yep, um, 70, uh, you can tell by the front end with the uh, fake vents where the uh, outside uh, front lights would be and the lights inside the grill that would actually serve as, uh... oh, and I've noticed here, look, slight quality control issue on this one I never noticed that disadvantage I guess of keeping cards on card but uh, yeah they kind of I guess somebody had a drink or three at lunch uh, on Friday when they produced this one and uh, went for tampo application on the front lights that's pretty horrible all right um, but nevertheless that's something that can be easily touched up since we're talking about the uh, basic line. Uh, rear is really cool. The only one, the only thing I don't really like a whole lot about this one is how the louvers for the rear window sit. It's very weird, but I think that that's an extra part. 
Obviously on the back on this one, you will not have anything because of the fact that it's a newer 2021 release. There we go. Yeah, so no a description or anything like that. It would have been cool to have a little diagram to actually be able to see if uh, it's a, there's a separate part, but I'm guessing there is simply because of the next vehicle I'm gonna show you. Which is this one? Sorry about that. A little, a little bit of stain on the uh, bubble there. I'll just remove that. So we can get a clearer view. There we go. Yeah, so next one. Pretty much uh, same uh, cast, but a different model. The 428 uh, Super Cobra Jet instead of being the um, uh, Boss 302. I like this one better than the, the Boss 302 personally, um, not just because it has a bigger engine, because that's not always a plus, especially if we're talking about handling, but because of the spec. Love this blue, grabber blue. Love the uh, the, st the color-coded steelies once more, very cool. Love the fact that the SCJ does have that front lip. Rear end. Rear end is pretty much the same, except for the fact that it doesn't have the louvers. And I know that behind the louvers, there is actually a back glass, just like this one. So I'm wondering, basically. I'm wondering. Because you can literally see that there's a back glass on this. I'd need to open it to actually be able to see what what it is I'm guessing maybe we're talking about something that you take the car apart and you can change for the louvers if you want the louvers or you can just decide to you know uh, keep the glass as is which would be my personal choice I don't know I have to open it to find out all right next one still 1970 but this time for Torino Cobra which is a car that I do like Maybe not as much as the uh, the Talladega or just the regular Torino, but uh, definitely this one's cool. I love the front end of this one. Uh, I find it's very reminiscent of Australian muscle cars in its uh, styling. Um, yeah, again, really nice card art. Definitely period. 8,400... Uh, 8,480 pieces worldwide for this one as well. Um, 2021, this one. Yep. And as opposed to a Hot Wheels and Matchbox, when it's 2021, it was a 2021 release. I picked these up last year, so I know that for a fact. Um, yeah, cool model, definitely. Um, last two models I'm going to show you, we're going to be going into some Pontiac. And I've always said that I prefer the Firebird to the Camaro. Here's an example of this. How badass is that? Love the, uh, love everything about this one. Love the spec. I mean, the wheels are good. The color, the olive green is great. Uh, it's a 400 cubic inch so definitely the top spec one at the time for 68 for that Pontiac Firebird uh, Badging's all good. You got the vinyl top Rear end very very similar to the Camaro very similar But the front end is to me at least in my personal preference the front end of the Firebird is so much better than the Camaro. It's, it's got that, it's got a certain class to it. Whereas Camaro is more brutish. I don't know. It's got that Ram Air hood with the twin inductions. Uh, very cool. Black interior again. And that old ad. We, they provide you with some specs too. Very cool. Very cool. So it's 8,000 pieces worldwide. Um, yeah, really like that one. 
And last, but definitely not least, and this is kind of like a type of card that you kind of don't take it off the card because it's just too perfectly matched up. Um, this is the only one that's not uh, that doesn't have a card art that's actually based on an old uh, on an old car ad per se. Got this Hurst '69 GTO with the Hurst card art. 8,480 pieces worldwide. This is also a 2021 release. Uh, yeah, this is uh, really. This is th this looks mean. This definitely looks mean. This looks like a mean car. I really like this. Everything's the striping's good. The uh, the detail is good, and I really don't mind the Hearst uh, the Hearst on the door with that black paint and the pinstriping linked to the Judge. Uh, uh, the Judge uh, graphics package, I find it it's it fits super well, and the black paint makes all the silver detailing pop as well, which is also uh, great. Um, but yeah, I mean this is a an awesome car, awesome awesome car. Um, also has the uh, four hundred cubic inch uh, V eight. Uh, yeah. So I'll end that here. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this little showcase. Um, if you did, uh, please hit that thumbs up on the video. Uh, you can always subscribe to the channel if you want to be notified of future uploads. Um, and uh, please let me know in the comments which, uh, which one of these was your favorite. All right, so I'll... Uh, I'll let you go on that one. Uh, hopefully uh, everybody has a great day, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.